The Appalachian Center for the Arts is currently preparing for their second Pikeville 200 production. Sleep in Safety aims to tell the story of Octavia Hatcher, a woman who died of an unusual illness and was later discovered to have been buried alive with as much historical accuracy as possible. Pikeville 200 is also sponsoring the show, which has been a big help for the app. Our plans for the show are to make it as um, digestible and as uh, interesting as we possibly can. And that wouldn't be possible without the Pikeville 200 team. They have been instrumental in not only funding, but also sponsoring and uh, making a huge cultural exchange possible between uh, Pikeville and our sister city in Dundalk. With Pikeville 200 sponsoring, we've been able to um, contract a director named Anna Simpson. She is a wonderful director and she's going to be directing Sleep in Safety, the death of Octavia Hatcher for us as part of a cultural exchange. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Ward is confident Pikeville residents will enjoy the show for its historical significance. Tickets are on sale now at theapparts.org. I think Having been in Pikeville for only about a year and a half now, that the residents will um, be very fond of this show because they have been in the past. And, and so moving, moving it forward, we've shortened it just a little bit. Our playwright uh, shortened it from about three hours to about an hour and a half. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit more um, receivable. What, what I've learned from the people in this town is they really love to celebrate the people from this town and from Pikeville and getting a chance to do that in another format, not just um, lauds of poems or anything like that, but being able to support artists and the local community of actors uh, in this production. I think they're gonna all um, find their way here. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.